Hello, hello, hello. This is Prophetess Tay Janice, and I'm here with another prophetic word from the Lord thy God. Before anything, you must seek the Lord by using your discernment spirit. You must also discern the voice of God by testing. You may discern what the will of God is for you to be sure this prophecy is indeed for you. Holy Spirit, we welcome you in right now with thanksgiving in our hearts. God, I pray that it be none of me and all of you. God, touch each and every person. Bless each and every person that's under the sound of my voice, Lord God. Meet every single need. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Amen. I'm here with another prophetic word from the Lord thy God. I'm so excited to share with you what God has shared with me. Amen. I'm so excited to show and tell you what God has given to me for you. God says your husband heard about you. He heard how faithful you were, how loyal you were, how much of a prayer warrior you were. He's heard about all the goodness about you. Mm, 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 mm. And he said, I want to be a part of that. God, tell me it's real. The feelings that I feel, Casey and Jojo, amen. God said, oh, God says your husband heard about you. And I'm so excited. I'm so excited about what God is getting ready to do for you because of your trust, because you wrote the vision and made it plain, amen. Because you stood beside God, you trusted in God because you didn't waver. You didn't cease when you prayed. You trusted in God. You fasted in him. Amen. And you got faith in the Lord. So God is saying, I'm getting ready to send him to you because your husband heard about you. I have revealed to him exactly who you are and he's watching you. Mm -mm -mm. I felt that for somebody. He's watching you and he's getting ready to make a move. He's getting ready to make a move. Tank is an emergency. I got to get there <laughs> before they get there, before I do. It's an emergency. And your husband is about to come to you. Who am I talking to? Amen. He's been watching you. Amen. He's been looking at you. Amen. Amen. You're not going to continue to have to masturbate out of loneliness. You're not going to have to keep seeking and doing online dating. You're not going to have to keep talking on the phone just to make conversation, knowing that the person you talking to, you don't have no interest in that person, but it's, it's something to do because you don't want to be alone. Amen. God says, I heard your cry. I heard your prayers. Uh, whoo, God says, your husband heard about you. He heard about the virtuous woman that you are. Amen. He heard about the wisdom that you got down on the inside. He heard about how you raise the kids, how you are raising the kids. Amen. How you hold yourself up, how you keep yourself together. Amen. God said, not everybody has access to you. Amen. Oh, God said he heard about your walk with Christ. He heard that you will pray, that you will get on your knees and you will go to war about what's for you. Amen. He heard that you know exactly who you are, that you know what you got authority over. Amen. He heard that you're in that word of God. Amen. He heard that you, you know, you working on your, you worked on yourself. You've done the work. He heard about your testimony. He heard that you are a survivor, that you don't give up. Amen. He heard about how God is on your side and how you didn't quit because you realize and you know that God can handle it because if God be for me, who can be against me? Who am I talking to on today? God says your husband heard about you. He knows and he's about to make a move. Amen. He's about to show up and show out in your life. He says, I'm about to love you for life. Baby, do you believe in love? I want to love you for life because your love is why I live. Amen. Your husband. Whew. Who am I talking to on today? Amen. Amen. God says your husband heard about you. For some of you, you already got the husband. Amen. For a lot of you, amen. God is about to send the husband. Amen. Amen. For some of you, you want to be reassured that this is the move that I should make. Amen. But God says it's safe to love him. Amen. Because he heard about you. He came to me. Amen. He fasted for you. Amen. He seeked me first. Oh, God. Seek ye the kingdom of God first and everything will be added. God says, I can add unto him because he seeked me about you. He prayed to me about you. He heard about you. He got my permission. Amen. Some of y'all don't have fathers, um, uh, biological fathers, but it's okay because your father in heaven already gave the approval. Who am I talking to on today?
Your kingdom husband doesn't want to love you for a little while. He doesn't want to love you for a short period of time. Amen. He wants to love you for life. Ooh, who am I talking to? Oh my goodness. I am so full. I am so full. Who am I talking to? You've been fasting. You've been praying. You've been seeking God. Like, God, I, I know you sending my husband. I trust you. I know you're getting ready to do it. I know, God, that if I be about your business, I know that if I put you first, I know that you can trust me, God, with the secrets on earth as it is in heaven. Oh, God says, I'm getting ready to bless you. Your husband heard about you. You won't be in this. You won't be single for long. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. He heard about you and God gave him the confirmation. God gave him the okay to move forward. And he's in your kingdom husband, just like Roger that. <laughs> amen. Amen. And amen. Who am I? Ta I'm so excited for you. I'm so e I'm full. And God took me to the story of Ruth and Boaz. Amen. That's what he took me to. Amen. And when I looked at it, you know, um, but Ruth remained faithful and she kept working hard. Scripture says she worked hard before Boaz invited her to eat with him. After she got back to work and gleaned in the field until evening. You already been working hard even before he came. You already knew to keep yourself busy. You already knew not to let little things distract your mind. You already knew not to um, allow things to take you off course or, or take you out of your character or go sleep with any and everybody. You already knew to be about your father's business. Who am I talking to on today? God says, I trust you with your kingdom husband. And because of that, he heard about you. Mm. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Better get ready. Better get ready. I'm so excited for you on today. Mm. Amen. So let's go to the scripture. Amen. Ruth 2, beginning at the fifth verse. You guys know I'm in the easy version. Boaz asked the leader of his workers, who is that young woman? Which family does she belong to? He already asked about you. Mm -hmm. Six, the man says she is that young woman from, from Moab. Who returned from Moab with Naomi. Seven. She asked me, please let me walk behind your workers. Then I can pick up the grains of barley that they leave on the ground. She has worked very hard in the field since she arrived this morning. She only had a short rest in the hut. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you. Your husband asked about you. Need I remind you that he asked about you. He's watching you. He heard about you. Mm. And God is getting ready to send them to you. Who am I talking to? Boaz said, who is that woman? What family she come from? He realized, I want to say, I believe he realized, mm, I got to get her. They don't make them like her anymore. Mm, I got to I gotta get with her. That's who I need in my life. That, that, that That's wifey right there. <laughs> that's for me right there. God, you said what's for me is for me, and that's for me. So I'm going to ask about that. You have not because you ask not, but I'm going to ask. He said, who? Hmm, who is that woman? He checking you out. He's watching you. Who am, I, who am I talking to? I'm so happy for you on today. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So God is saying that you can trust the plans that he has for you. He heard you. He heard you. You faithful. You loyal. You committed. Now I'm about to reward you openly because of what you did in private. It's safe to go ahead and claim it. It's safe to go ahead and, and, and believe it. It's safe to go ahead and have faith in it. God says, because if I brought you to it, I'm going to see you through the whole way. Your husband asks God about you. Mm, 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 mm. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Mm, let's go to the throne of grace. Amen. Amen. Spirit of the living God. Spirit of the living God, I come to you as humble as I know how with thanksgiving in my heart, Lord God. God, we come thanking you in advance, Lord God, as long as you can get the glory, Father God. God, we thank you right now, Lord God, that you are releasing your um, kingdom 
um, men out there to the women of you, Lord God, a woman after your own heart, Lord God. Father God, open you open up doors that no man can close, God, and you close doors that no man can open, Lord God. And we thank you, Lord God, for this opportunity, Lord God, to be able for to be able for you to begin to say, I trust you with what is for you. I trust you with the plans I have for you. God, thank you for loving us, God. You loved us so much, God, that you wanted us to have what's for us, God. God, we thank you for trusting us, Lord God. Thank you for reaching down your arms, Lord God, to hold us and cover us and protect us. And thank you for showing us how to guard our hearts, Lord God. God, I ask that you continue, Lord God, to bless us, Lord God, that you continue to keep us, Lord God, that God, you give us the wisdom and the knowledge when you bring the husband to us, when you bring the wife to us, Father God, let us go to you, Lord God. For help, for prayer, Lord God, because all of our help comes from you, Lord God. Let us seek you, Lord God, even when you give it to us, Lord God, when you bless us with it, Lord God. In Jesus' name I pray, amen, amen, and amen. Shalom in the Lord, many peace in the Lord. See you in the next video, amen.